Hey guys, welcome back to another video and for today, I'm going to show you how to use PayPal. So for those who are quite unaware, PayPal is an online payment system that makes paying for things online and sending and receiving money to other people safe and secure. And for today, I'm going to start off by showing you how to use PayPal from account creation to making your first online transaction. So first things first, let's go to the PayPal website on any browser of your choice. When you get there, go ahead and click on the sign up button to create your first PayPal account. As you can see, there are two options for a PayPal account, a personal account and a business account. For the purposes of this video, we're going to make a personal PayPal account. So just follow along and underneath personal account, choose the both of the above option and then click on next. As you can see, you're going to need a verified uh, mobile number in order to make a PayPal account. Also, you can choose a drop down list shown here to choose which country your mobile number is registered to. So go ahead and input your mobile number of your country of residence and go ahead and continue to make your personal PayPal account. It really is as easy as that. Now, once you've made your PayPal account, here you can see your dashboard of your PayPal account. For now, let's focus on the Pay and Get Paid menu. And as you can see, it will show you everything from invoicing to wallet to making and accepting payments. For now, let's select Balance under Wallet. Here, you can see the current balance found in your PayPal account, or the amount of total money you actually have, and all the different currencies that make up your total balance. From this page, you can even link your bank accounts to your PayPal account, or make send or request payments to your PayPal. So right now, go ahead and click on Send or Request Payments. From the Sending and Request Payment menu, here, you can send payments to any name, PayPal username, even an email, or another mobile number that's registered to a PayPal account. You have the option to send an invoice, make a mass payment, or request money to be injected into your PayPal account. Feel free to go and explore the Send and Request Payments menu as shown here. And once you're done, let's go back and go to the home page of your PayPal dashboard. Now, once you're done and back in the main PayPal dashboard, let's go back to the Pay and Get Paid menu. And this time, instead of choosing Balance under Wallet, we're going to choose Banks and Cards. After clicking on Banks and Cards, we'll be redirected to choose whether we want to link a bank account or we also have the option to link a new card. Remember, you can link any bank account or any credit or debit card using this page. All right, now for now, let's go back to your PayPal dashboard and let's try to do some transfer of payments. So here we have a current sample of a PayPal balance and there's a button that says transfer funds underneath it. Go ahead and let's try to transfer some funds by clicking on transfer funds. After clicking on transfer funds, you'll be shown a list of your PayPal balance and all the cards and bank accounts linked to your PayPal account. For example, I have East West Banking Corporation linked and a MasterCard prepaid debit card linked as well. On the right hand side, you also have the option to add a currency of your choice and even a currency calculator to see the exchange rate over PayPal. Remember, all your transactions will be instantly reflected on your PayPal balance and the currencies that you wish to use. Whenever you want to make a transaction using PayPal, it's so easy to just click on send or request to transfer funds from one account to the other. For now, let's go back to your wallet and let's click on link a bank account. From here, you're going to be given the information that you need to input in order to link a bank account to your PayPal account. If you're from the US, you can also click on link a US bank instead since linking a US bank account comes with its own set of instructions. Here, you can also click on link a card. 
And as you can see, these are the requirements and details you must input in order to link a debit or credit card to your PayPal account. Remember, any account you link to your PayPal account will be reflected in your PayPal wallet balance. Whether it's a local bank account, a foreign bank account, a debit or credit card, PayPal really makes it so easy to link anything for online transactions using PayPal for a very safe, fast, and secure way to do money online. And whenever you need to send a request, as you can see, you can always just click on the send and request button. And it's so simple to send payments or receive payments since every PayPal account is linked the same way a Gmail email, or mobile number account is used. If you want to be extremely organized with how you do your sending and receiving of payments, you can add contacts and manage them as shown here. Another really nice feature of PayPal is its ability to simply make invoices to track and customize all your transactions across all your PayPal accounts. And if you click on request for requesting payments, it really is so easy to add contacts and to choose which contact you want to request PayPal money from. Now, that's another recap of how to send and request payments. And let's go back to your homepage of your dashboard. And below your balance, you can see a list of the brief summary of your activity. If you want to see a more detailed uh, list of your PayPal activity, go ahead and click on activity on the upper right corner. From here, you can filter your activity on PayPal to see by date, type, status, or even currency in case you do do multiple transactions with different currencies. Now, let's go and explore the settings available for your PayPal account. Go ahead and click on the gear icon on the upper right corner to access the settings for the different features of your PayPal account. As you can see here, you can see your PayPal profile, your name, your PayPal account name, and all the different options available to modify your PayPal account to your specific liking. Here, you can also display and manage all your profile details like your email, your phone numbers, and even your addresses. As you can see, there are certain features that are locked behind a personal account, and if you wish to use features like adding a passport or certain other business features, you have to upgrade from a personal account to a business account on PayPal. And so far, that's really all the basics that you need to know in order to start using PayPal to request, send, and receive money online. For the purposes of this video, we won't go into the nitty gritty of setting up auto transfers since we believe that that requires a tutorial of its own. But as you can see, there are so many options that you can choose to do with your PayPal account through this dashboard. What's nice is that you can even make an invoice for pretty much any service or product using PayPal. There are lots of details that you can explore as well like seeing the statistics for your insights of your PayPal account, how much money is coming in and you're shelling out, and also issuing refunds or requesting payments. PayPal is truly a revolutionary tool in the space of e-commerce with its ability to request money, send money, and make sure that all online transactions are fast, safe, and of course, secure. And with that, Thanks so much for watching, we've reached the end of this video for today. If you've learned something new, feel free to leave a like on this video. And if you enjoyed this kind of content, feel free to leave a subscription to this channel and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss out on quick, easy, and fast tutorials from us. Thanks so much for watching guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.